Hi everybody, how's it going? My name is Megan, if you're new here, and if you're not new here, then welcome back. I am a lover of simple living and also simple healthy recipes, and I'm really, really excited to share with you today five breakfast recipes. Each of the recipes I'll be sharing with you today are made with around five ingredients or so, so they're really easy to make. Uh, they're also paleo, so they're gluten-free as well as dairy-free, but most importantly, they are totally delicious and I think it's really important to always have you know a good list of breakfast ideas to look forward to in the morning uh, to start your day so I'm really excited for you guys to try these full recipe details will be found on my blog so I will leave a link below to each individual recipe and let's get started so the first recipe we're going to make is a very simple five ingredient berry bowl. This is one of my favorite breakfasts to make because it's quick but it's so good. It's a lighter breakfast so it's good if you're not too hungry or if you want something lighter and it makes a great snack too. All you need is one sliced banana, a few strawberries sliced up, a handful of blueberries, you can also use any other berry that you like, um, a nice big spoonful of your favorite nut or seed butter, I'm using sunflower seed butter, and a splash of almond milk and that's it it's kind of like eating cereal but without the cereal and I love it I make it all the time the next recipe is this super delicious paleo sweet potatoes porridge this is completely grain free and made with sweet potatoes instead of oats actually to begin you're going to grate one small sweet potato however I highly recommend grating a few extra as a meal prep to store in the fridge because shredded sweet potato is so versatile um, I'll be showing you another way to use it in a moment. You can use a cheese grater like I am, which requires some elbow grease, or you can use the grater blade on your food processor. So there you go. You got some nicely grated up sweet potatoes. So you'll need one cup of the shredded sweet potato for this recipe, and the rest can be stored in an airtight container. Next, we're gonna dice up some apple. We're gonna add the sweet potato and the apple to a pot. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of almond butter, one teaspoon of maple syrup, this is optional, some cinnamon, a pinch of sea salt, and some almond milk. So give that a little stir and um, then you can bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes or so until it's thickened. You can enjoy this with any toppings that you like. I like sliced banana and some chopped pecans and walnuts, um, but just get creative and enjoy. Next, we're making sweet potato hash brown egg nests with some salad. Like I mentioned, shredded sweet potato can really come in handy because it's so versatile. So for this recipe, all you need to do is saute a big handful of your shredded sweet potato in a pan with some olive oil, or you could use butter or avocado oil, some salt and pepper, and uh, saute it until it's golden brown. This will take about 10 minutes or so, and it'll be kind of like a deconstructed hash brown. Next, you can place a good handful of spring mix on your plate, top it with your sweet potato, and make a little nest. This is where we'll plop an egg on top. You can cook your egg any style that you like, but I really like soft boiled eggs for this recipe, which I boil for probably about five and a half minutes or so. And that's it. You can top it with your favorite herbs. I have cilantro here, which I love, and you can drizzle on some balsamic vinegar if you would like, but I find it flavorful enough actually on its own with the egg and the sweetness of the potato. The next breakfast recipe is a veggie and prosciutto scramble. I love scrambled eggs because they're so quick to make and it's so easy to throw in some veggies for an added boost of nutrients and hardiness. So begin by finely slicing some kale and dicing a small handful of baby tomatoes and some fresh basil. Feel free to use any veggies that you like. This is a great way to use up leftover vegetables in your fridge. Add that to a pan, add a little bit of salt and pepper, and you can cook it over medium heat until everything has softened down a bit. This will take about 10 minutes or so. While the veggies are cooking, cut up one to two slices of prosciutto and whisk it together with two eggs. Then you can simply add this mixture to your veggies, scramble it for a minute or two, and add it to a plate and enjoy. This is great with a side of avocado and even better with some fresh basil on top. I love basil. 
last but not least, we have the banana peach chia pudding. This recipe is honestly too good to be true. So begin by slicing up two large peaches and add to a blender with one banana, one 400 milliliter can of full fat coconut milk, which is what makes this recipe so decadent and so satisfying, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and a quarter cup of water. You wanna blend this on high for about a minute or so until it's really, really creamy. Next, just measure out a quarter cup of chia seeds and add that to a bowl. Pour in the peach mixture and stir thoroughly. You wanna make sure that you get all the seeds mixed together really, really well. Then you can just cover your dish uh, or transfer to a dish with a lid and refrigerate for three to five hours or overnight. This is a great recipe for making the day before so that you have it ready for breakfast for the next few mornings as it makes a fairly large batch. It also makes a great dessert as well. Once it's done, it'll be extra thick as the chia seeds soften and absorb a lot of the liquid. You can enjoy it with some chopped pecans and some shredded coconut or just kind of get creative, whatever you want to top it with. You really don't need a huge serving of this to feel really full, so I love it. The flavors are so lovely together. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed these five recipes and I really hope you give them a try. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creations and I'll see you very soon in my next video.